just got it set away. All right, guys, it was, uh, I'd say, roughly around about 5 o'clock, 5.05, this hen steps out. And uh, she's mighty nervous. I, I, I've never seen a turkey this nervous before. But um, I've noticed either there was a predator in the area or uh, she just wasn't comfortable or anything like that. Um, I had just went in there and we'd eat that grass. Um, you'll see later on when I get it recorded, and then I figured that might have scared her. But... Um, there was a lot of grasshoppers and crickets out there when I was, um, uh, weed eating it down, but she acted mighty nervous, and after she is out there for a while, I kept hearing some, uh, uh, leaves, you know, when you're turkey hunting and everything, you hear them scratching the ground, so that kind of relieved me more. I just didn't know if it was the big tom or anything, and, um, when I started hearing the scratching and the leaves in there, that kind of made me relax, and, um, uh, that's, you'll see a hen come out with this one, and, uh, I felt a little bit more better then, but, uh, she was just acting real nervous, and I didn't, uh, I didn't know if it was a predator in area or what, but um, y'all stay tuned and you'll see what happens. She's acting so nervous. It looks like there's another one with her somewhere. I don't know if it's another hen or a tom, but... There's another one with her. Got to be her. There's something around. She just looks nervous out there. All right, guys, at this time, I'm feeling more a little bit relaxed uh, now that this hen steps out. But uh, I'm still hearing some uh, scratching going on in the woods. So I um, thought it was another hen or it might have been a Jake or a Tom. So um, 
now that this hen steps out, um, she's a little bit more rea uh, relaxed, the first one that stepped out. So um, y'all just keep watching. On the balls, balls, two hens, and if, if there's a single hen, there, there's usually a top that follows one single hen. So. When I was cutting that grass, I knew there was so many grasshoppers and crickets, it was crazy. Alright guys, so as you can see, I'm getting some good footage and everything like that. Trust me, I wanted to go ahead and shoot as soon as he stepped out, but kind of calm myself and everything like that, guys. And I said, no, let me try to get some good footage for y'all. So, um, you will see every every move he makes, my barrel is moving. Um, as you can see, my true glow red dot on my uh, tip of my barrel is moving with his head. Um, I don't want him getting away, but also I'm trying to get some good footage for y'all. And you will actually hear when he blows up. You can actually hear him. That's how close he is. He's literally only about seven or eight steps away from my blind that I'm in.
All right, guys. So now after I got some good footage and everything like that, now I'm just gonna wait for uh, uh him get lined up. Uh, him get a little ways from me so I don't shoot his head off when I shoot. So unfortunately, these two hens that you see, one on his right, one on his left, they they go together. So they're gonna be in the background of him. So I have to wait and hopefully they split um until I can shoot. And luckily they did. He was out about 25 yards when I did take the shot, guys. You'll see. It has been a day. It's been a week. Whew. Whew. I thank the Lord for number one. I do want to thank God. Mercy. That's my second dump that I've taken. I've got my first dump this year ever. This is my second dump ever. I did it with the Remington 887 Nitro Mag. I'm shooting a three inch double X. Five shot. And our guys, he's down right at, I'd say, 25 yards. Whew. I tried letting him strut as long as I could. And uh, it looked like he was going away. And I couldn't shoot because of the hens. But I've been getting two nice toms on camera for the last few days in the week. But I didn't, uh, I couldn't make it out because of work. So I came out here. We came out this morning, me and Sean, my bro, uh, uh, a good friend of mine, just met not too long ago, and that grass was high. We caught him one this morning, and he took it, and uh, I had a couple things I had to do, but I said if I came back, if I got time, I'm going to come back this evening, because he came yesterday evening, and uh, sure enough, he came back, guys. And uh, I was trying to get some footage of him strutting and everything. I don't know if y'all can hear him blowing and everything and buffing off, and that was real cool. Decoy is only 10 yards, maybe. But I hammered him, guys. I hammered him. And uh, I just thank the Lord. Thank the Lord. All right, guys, here he is hit my stick as you can see <laughs> I got this marked out for my crossbow I got a few of them out here the 25 yard mark so he was right at 25 yards but it's just I can't thank the Lord enough guys for number one for allowing me to do this um, without him guys ain't nothing possible guys you got to give credit all to the Lord guys and this is just crazy God it's, I appreciate it. I can't thank the Lord enough. I, uh, like I said, I've been getting pictures of him around about 5.30, I want to say. And uh, I looked on the clock when I shot him. I looked on the phone. It was uh, 5.25, guys. And uh, there was a Jake that came in with him. And uh, this is my second one that I've ever taken. This is my first year ever turkey hunt. And uh, been bringing some buddies of mine out, my nephew, and letting them take one. And uh, I was just blessed to be able to take this one, guys. 
Um, this is a nice one. This beard is kind of long, to be honest with you guys. It's bigger than I expect it to be. But, uh, you know, it's not all about the beard. It's not all about the spurs. You know, I just thank the Lord for uh, allowing me to capture this one, guys. And, uh, every bird that I take is a, is a trophy. So, anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I got some more videos to come and everything like that. If you ain't subscribed to my channel yet, guys, please do. Uh, like it, share it, um, and I'll try to be back for another one soon, guys. Thank you for watching, guys. This is Yeehaw, and I'm out.